Well, hello, boys and girls. Today, I have a tale of four Unos. This is the genuine Arduino Uno R3, purchased from Amazon directly from the Arduino store. It's the real deal. This is not the best counterfeit I've ever seen, but this is a counterfeit Arduino Uno that is kind of trending on the Arduino Uno logo. Normally the counterfeits try to get a little closer to this green color, but nonetheless, uh, this one kind of straddles the line on the counterfeit side. Coming up next, we have the clone. And the idea of this is that it is functionally identical to the Arduino, but doesn't trade on any of the Arduino branding. And last but not least, we have the value added board, which is designed to be functionally identical to the Arduino Uno, but also add some extra features. So let's take a look. Um, I was listening to the Simple Electronics podcast and there was my friend Andrea Ricetta from uh, Arduino and he was on there talking about how when you buy a genuine Arduino board, you are supporting the entire Arduino project. You are uh, helping to develop the IDE, you're releasing drivers and innovating in new boards and new form factors and all of that kind of stuff. And that inspired me to go to Amazon and buy this board. Now, I've only owned one genuine board before that. And, uh, and that one, the minute I plugged it in, it blew the USB port on my computer. So I've been real hesitant to buy another board, but, um, I did buy another board. And unfortunately, this one came in pretty suspect. But regardless, this is a genuine Arduino from Italy. Now, what makes this a counterfeit? Uh, if you want to debate if this is a counterfeit or not, that's fine. Like, I'm not, it's more the point of it. What makes this a counterfeit and this a clone is that you are allowed to copy the form factor of the Arduino. You're allowed to, um, you know, have the same pins and all that kind of stuff. What you cannot do is something that resembles you can't use the word arduino or the arduino branding and again that's not the best representation of their branding but they're they're coming really close to trending on their copyright and the idea of that what makes this one bad is that it gives the perception that it's the real deal and it's not um and so if this thing were probably a little further along if this looked a little bit more like this one, then they would probably get sued. Um, and that's actually a good thing. I respect the people at Arduino and I respect their trademarks and their copyrights and all that kind of stuff. And I think it's fair that they actually protect the, the little bit of the company that they don't give away. And so, um, that's fine. So this one is a little suspect. Now this one is what gets people wrapped up. And so there are a lot of people that call this one counterfeit and it's not. So what's the difference between a clone and a counterfeit? Well, this one is designed to work exactly like this one, but not trying to copy any of the branding. And so a board like this might run two or three dollars where something like this might be twenty three dollars. And so uh, this board is a lot cheaper. And this is what I buy with my own money most of the time because the cost difference is so huge. Now, what some people would say is that this is a counterfeit and it's absolutely not. Arduino not only doesn't care, but they encourage people to build boards in this form factor and to, to use the Arduino form factor as long as you don't use the Arduino branding. Now, people who are big fans of these boards would come in here and tell you that this board is of a lesser quality and maybe it is. Um, you know, there could be some lower quality components on this, but to be honest, I've literally never, I've ordered hundreds of Arduinos in my lifetime. And the only two troublesome boards I've had were brand name boards. I've never had a problem with one of these clones. Uh, I've never had to blow a USB port, never even had one fail unless I just directly tried to kill it, uh, which you may have seen in a previous video. But uh, in my experience, you may have different experiences. This is just about as good as this. And so nothing wrong with that. Now, the fourth one is what I call a value added board. And there are a lot of different styles of this, but essentially this is made to work just like an Arduino, but to have some extra features. So in this case, they decided, hey, 
we want to put in USB-C. And over here, there's some uh, fi a 5 volt and a 3.3 volt switch. There are these extra pins over here that make it easier to hook things up because you have a signal power and ground for each of the, uh, for each of the pins. There's some extra things over here to, you know, to connect up to. So just other little features that they've decided to add onto the board. Um, basically what happens is a company says, says this is awesome. But we think we can do better. We think that the Arduino should have these extra pins to make it easier to hook up. We think the Arduino should have a USB-C port. We think the Arduino should have a girl in a bikini and some extra LEDs. We decided that this is a value add that the people want. The people want a girl in a bikini with an open source tattoo on her arm. And gosh darn it, we are going to give that to her. And so companies go out there and they make these value added boards where they try to improve on the Arduino form factor and they add speakers and they add LEDs and they add little LEDs along the edge of the board and that's awesome. Arduino endorses that and Arduino encourages that and there's nothing wrong with adding a little bit of value and the fact is you could buy these two boards at retail for cheaper than you could buy one of these genuine boards. I absolutely love it that we live in a world with so many diverse form factors and so many awesome companies that are supporting our maker movement. And I fully encourage you to donate some money to Arduino to buy some stuff from some of these people who are putting out all the libraries like SparkFun and Adafruit. And these big companies are just pouring into the maker community to make our lives easier. Uh, the one thing I do encourage you to do is to not buy counterfeit. Uh, go ahead and buy the clones. Just don't buy the counterfeit. So, hey, I would love to hear about your experiences with these off-brand boards. Uh, you know, have you spent money on genuine Arduino boards? Do you think it's worth it? Uh, what do you think of the clones? Have you had any problems with them? Uh, do you guys have any special value-added form factors that you like? Leave in the comments. Let's uh, kind of get a discussion going of all the great things that the Arduino world has to offer.